If somebody thinks they hear wheezing in somebody in their family or they feel like they hear it on themselves, how do you make the diagnosis of asthma? Is it easy to make or difficult? Well, it can be both. Sometimes asthma is very easy to diagnose. So first we go through a good history and physical. Do you have an allergic predisposition? Are you prone to hay fever in the spring and fall? Uh, do you, after exercise, do you cough and wheeze? Before thunderstorms or after, are you prone to asthma attacks? So, or breathing attacks? Then a good physical exam. Do they have allergic shiners, dark circles under the eyes? Do they have the pale blue nasal mucosa that we see? Sometimes nasal polyps in those patients. And then of course, a good chest exam. Do they make abnormal breath sounds? Do they wheeze as they breathe in? Now, there are other things that can make us wheeze. So we've got to do a good heart exam to make sure everything's okay. A good air, upper airway exam to make sure there's not something there making them wheeze. After we do that, we do some tests, allergy tests commonly to look for allergic triggers to assist them with avoidance. Avoid the things that you're allergic to and your asthma does better. So, so far here, I can see it's a very organized history in physical, and now we do skin testing to identify if we think allergy is part of the problem. Can people have asthma and you don't hear any wheezing? Are there tests that you can test the lungs to see how the lungs are doing to see if there's asthma? There are a number of tests you can do. And now asthma, when you say, are they wheezing? Well, some asthmatics wheeze, some asthmatics cough, and there's a big spectrum of symptoms. It's not just one presentation for asthma, but cough to wheeze to shortness of breath or all extremes. The two tests we like to use for this, one is spirometry. That's where you blow into a machine to see if your lung function is normal. What will it tell you if you've got asthma? What does spirometry tell you? Spirometry, there's certain parameters or numbers we look at, and if there certain numbers show that there's narrowing of the airway, that shows you have an obstructive narrowing lung disease. Now, the most common would be asthma, but there are other diseases that do that too. So what we'll do is we'll give them a breathing treatment with that reliever medication, albuterol, and repeat the test. If it improves significantly, certain parameters there too, then you can make a diagnosis of asthma. But even if it doesn't reverse, it still might be asthma. Even if it's normal, it still might be asthma.